As the new flagship of its car program in May 1949, Mercedes-Benz presented another spectacular vehicle, the Type 170S. In terms of style and engineering, it was based on the pre-war Type 230, but it differed from its predecessor having a more powerful engine, an improved front axle, and a more spacious chassis. The range was extended with a two-seat Cabriolet A and a four-seat Cabriolet B. The Cabriolet A especially was regarded as a luxury vehicle and added class to the program. While undergoing substantial improvements in January 1952, the 170S was supplied with a steering column shift and a starter button, amongst other things. The variation was internally called 170B, and its prominent features included an enlarged rear window and internal trunk lid hinges. At the same time, the new Type 170DS was displayed. Equipped with a diesel engine of Type 170DA, it clearly exceeded the sales volume of the petrol-powered sister model. In 1953, the technically advanced follow-ups of the 170SV and the 170SD were introduced as an alternative to the latest design type 180 Ponton, which was met with immense skepticism by the more traditionally minded customer. The last edition combined the largely unchanged chassis of the predecessors with the more spacious bodies of the 170SB and 170DS respectively. Here again, the diesel version was sold in higher volumes than the gasoline model. Hence, production of the 170SV ended in February 1955, whereas Type 170SD last came off the line in September of the same year.